Welcome to Art History, Early Medieval Europe. Early Medieval Sites in Europe, the Carolingian Empire at the death of Charlemagne in 814. The Early Medieval Period follows the fall of Western Rome in the 4th century, but before the Romanesque period in the 11th century. This chapter surveys the art of Europe in the period between 410 and the fall of Rome, and 1024 the conclusion of the Ottonian period. The art of the medieval period has three primarily cultural influences. The classic traditions of Rome's northern provinces, non-Roman people in the central and northern Europe, and Christianity. From the 5th to the middle of the 8th century, the period of the warrior lords surviving artworks are primarily portable objects, such as weapons and personal items of adornment that reflect the decorative traditions of non-Roman groups such as the Huns, Margovian, Franks, Goths, and Vikings. Between the 7th and 11th centuries, most of Europe became Christianized, but the decorative abstract patterns and intertwining animal forms established in pre-Christian times continued to appear in art through the early Middle Ages. This is particularly with Herbino-Saxon artists in Ireland and Britain, who produced Christian illuminated manuscripts in the 7th and 8th century. In the Carolingian period, in Central Europe, artists developed unique styles of manuscript illumination and established the Twin Tower Westwork of church architecture. 10th century Ottonian artists produced monumental sculpture and small-scale works exhibiting a clear Byzantine influence. Architects introduced the alternative, alternate support system and the galleries to the naves of the basilicas. Mergovinje developed looped fibula from 6th century France. Silver Gill worked in filigree, a design of fine wires. Inlays of garnets and other stones also decorate the abstract shapes and animal forms. The purse cover from the Sutton Hoog shop burial in Suffolk, England is decorated with a combination of animal figures and abstract interlaced ornamentation. The style is the hallmark of the artwork of the early Middle Ages. The figure facing front, flanked by two beasts, is a heraldic composition found in most ancient cultures. A ribbon-like interlace pattern is found on the gold belt buckle from Sutton Hoo ship burial. Vikings carved this animal head post found in a Viking ship burial. The, the burial held an important individual. The wooden Viking ship has been restored and is now in Oslo, Norway. Carved wooden portal of a stave church in Ernst, Norway. Carpet page from the Lindisfarne Gospels is a combination of geometric shapes and interlaced patterns painted with tempera on vellum. The Book of Kells is an outstanding example of the style art historians named Herbino Saxon. Herbina is the Roman name of Ireland. This is insular or monastic art of the Irish-English islands. The 
Celtic High Cross of Murdoch faces east. It displays a prayer for the cleric named Murdoch. High crosses always face east and have a circle around the top of the Latin cross. Most guard burial grounds of monasteries. The Visigoth Christian culture living in Moorish Spain was called the Maz of Arabic. This is a scriptorium or part of the monastery where copies of religious books and papers are, were made. The structure has the Islamic horseshoe arches and glazed tile exterior. Carolingian equestrian portrait of Charlemagne or Charles the Bald. Charlemagne united most of Western Europe into the Holy Roman Empire, which wasn't Roman or holy, but it was a loose confederation of dramatic kingdoms. This folio page of St. Matthew reflects a continuing influence of classic art in the Middle Ages. The uniquely Northern European energetic artistic style is displayed in this folio page of St. Matthew. Northern art largely focused on the linear edges of shapes, while classic art focuses on the mass of the object. Charlemagne's Palatine Chapel is capital at Aachen, in Germany. The plan is based on the design of San Vitale in Italy. Westwork is the facade and bell towers integrated into churches in much of the late 1800s. Tor Hall or gate to a Carolingian monastery in Lourdes, Germany, late 8th to 9th century. After Charlemagne's sons were defeated, the Holy Roman Empire was controlled by the Saxon line of German emperors, the Ottos. St. Michael's Hildesheim, Germany, is an Ottonian church designed by Bishop Bernward, tutor of Otto III, Unique are the double side entrances. The artist Bishop Bernward designed these bronze cast doors with the story of Genesis on the left door and the life of Christ on the right door. Detail of the left door with God, Adam, and Eve. Bishop Bernward's Bronze Column at Hildesheim. Crucifix for Cologne German Cathedral. The gauntness and elongation of the figure anticipate the coming of the Romanesque style of sculpture. Auto and Throne reflects the Byzantine Roman period. The folio page with Annunciation of the Shepherds illustrates the Carolingian Ottonian style, a combination of classic and Byzantine, with gold background, rocky landscape, and grazing sheep. The narrative elements, classic gestures, and figures are drawn from antiquity.